What's up, meatbags? It's the Alpha Imitated, Never Duplicated, Tony, TGD, and the Marvels is a trash fire. It is getting ripped apart by critics. Uh, it is tracking to be the lowest opening in all of the MCU history, tracking lower than Ant-Man Quantumania, tracking lower than the Flash movie, and you know all the problems that that had. So let's go over to Rotten Tomatoes and let's see what some of these critics are saying about the Marvels. Now, as you can see, the Marvels... Uh, has a 59% on the tomato meter, 59%. All the critics, that's what it's got, a 59%. But that's not the whole story, no. While the Marvels has a 59% for all critics, it has a 42%, 42% for top critics. So the top, the trusted critics, the best of the best, the critics that actually matter, not every single outlet who review the Marvels, but the major outlets, 42%. Now, I don't know about you, but I need to know. I need to know what these critics are saying. So let's take a trip into the review section and let's just read what these critics have to say about the Marvels. All right, so let's take a look at what some of these top critics have to say. Uh, Christy Punchko, Punchko from uh, Mashable says, The Marvels is a rocky ride that feels crowded by MCU compromises, which undermines the star power of its cast and the talents of its director. Ouch. Adam Graham from Detroit News. As Temple Entertainment, it feels inconsequential if slightly diverting. To put it in corporate speak, it could have been an email. Oof, ooh, scathing, scathing. But here we got some good reviews, we got some good. It says, uh, Katie Wall says, tonally, the Marvels embraces the goofy nature of a sci-fi superhero movie aimed at a female audience. And even though it's a good score, it's only a 2.5 out of four. Moira McDonald from Seattle Times. Uh, while it's full of all the expected Marvel metaphysical head spinning, it's also unexpectedly endearing. A pleasant popcorn flavor joyride into the cosmos with three likable heroes as our guides. All right, let's read some more bad ones. We got Mike, uh, Mick LaSalle. Thankfully, the movie clocks in at a mere 105 minutes. The Marvels doesn't have much to say, but at least it says it quickly. Oof, oof. Christy Lemire from RogerEbert.com. A narrative and visual jumble. And the clearest example yet that maybe we don't need some sort of Marvel product in the theaters or on streaming at all times. Owen Gleiberman, there's a place in the MCU for whack job silliness, but in the Marvels, the bits of absurd comedy tend to feel strained because they clash with the movie's most utilitarian tone. Mm -mm -mm. Variety, variety. And what has to be my favorite, favorite review, New York Post, Johnny Aleksinski. If you thought Eternals and Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania were low points for the limping Marvel Cinematic Universe, strap in for the ride to abject misery that is the Marvels. Original score is zero. Zero from the New York Post. Zero. Now, we know that the left-wing media, the bias towards these Marvel movies, the bias towards the MCU, the bias towards female-led entertainment, and yet the New York Post confidently is giving this a zero out of four. The movie is terrible. The movie has to be horrendous. Of course, we couldn't not look at the review from Hometown Boy, Richard Roper, Chicago Sun-Times. Neither as funny nor as engaging and warm as it tries to be, despite the best efforts of the talented director, Nia DaCosta, and a trio of gifted and enormously likable leads in Brie Larson, uh, Tayona Paris, and Iman Vellani. Two out of four for Mr. Richard Roper. He loves, loves the cast, <laughs> kind of likes the director, but... The movie still fails. The movie still fails. It's rotten. It's a rotten tomato. The Marvels will be in theaters this Friday. And you know I will be there. I will be there with bells on. Uh, hopefully I'll give you an out of theater reaction. Uh, if not, as soon as I get home, as soon as I get home from the theater, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this movie after seeing it, after watching it, after ingesting it. I'll let you know, is it really as bad as they say it is? Maybe it's worse. Maybe it's terrible. Maybe this is going to be a scathing review from the frog who knows who knows but judging by the fact that the critics are trashing this uh, they're giving it zeros ones twos uh does not bode well does not bode well i like bad movies but i'm not sure i'm gonna like this one i didn't like the first captain marvel not gonna lie i did like the miss marvel tv show i thought that was pretty good uh so we'll see uh will iman Vellani save this movie for me uh will it be okay uh, or will it be a terrible trash fire Am I going to build a Brie Larson shed? Am I going to be hitting on Brie Larson uh, 300 videos in a row? Who knows? Maybe the movie's that bad. I'm going to have PTSD, and I'm going to have to take it out on Brie Larson day after day after day. 
Uh, we'll find out this Friday. But until then, as always, love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.